y'all welcome to boston my name is malk ak music is for life but i'm here with rex and hazardous sounds what's good fellas yo what up what up it's popping how y'all living you're doing all right you know uh uh, enjoying the the little response we getting for our new album. You know, yeah, so just, let's get right into it, man. Yeah, that's what we want. Eyes watching, eyes watching God. Yeah, you already know. You know what I mean. So why the name and what's the whole concept behind the project? Uh, eyes watching God, uh, loosely titled after um, their eyes was watching God, but like mm-hmm. not not to be uh, confused with the con- concept of that uh, movie or book. Um, <clears throat> eyes watching God is basically. Uh, balance between God and the devil, good and evil, the yin and the yang. Like Rex said, it's you know it's about the duality of man, basically how, you know the yin and the yang, how we basically got to balance the good with the with the bad in life, you know, and um, we just you know we co- pretty much covered all topics from you know politically conscious things like you know everything that's going down with the police today, you know the brutality and uh, how they abusing power uh, to uh, Steve Biko, you know political prisoners and things like that and then over on, we go to the devil side and we talk more about um you know some of the other stuff like you know going to strip clubs and you know just kind of like the balance that us as men living today where we live in america got to go through you know what i'm saying and that's basically what i was watching god is about yeah and a step away from the music just for a quick second um, you know, how important is this music uh, in the midst of all the things that been going on with Mike Brown and Ferguson and all that kind of stuff? Well, me, I, I think I believe that um, this album is very important. And uh, I think it's, you know, we put it out at, at a crucial time in society and in overall history. Just, you know, everything that's going on in the world, you know, from the Middle East to right here in our own mm-hmm. backyard, you know, with all the, you know, all the messed up stuff that's going on. So I think it's... Um, you know, we bring in awareness musically and, um, you know, it's pretty much, I don't know, Rex, what you think? I think it's like imperative at, at all times, um, you know, just not just not for us to get caught up in, you know, the moment. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, it's, it's a terrible thing and a terrifying thing for, that, for the Brown family, what occurred. Um, but I think these are topics that we need to touch upon in our music and, and in, in our conversation in general on a regular basis. Um, my music uh, kind of has like, you know, shifted a, a little bit in terms of like me becoming more political and socially aware uh, over the years um, to, to the detriment of some fans. They, they um, you know, prefer the Rex who's like just kind of braggadocious mm-hmm. or, um, you know, speaks upon like, you know, how, how much better I am than the next rapper. But I think uh, the, the music is supposed to have a powerful message. And um, I still, you know, I still have fun uh, with word pl- uh, with wordplay and what have you. But I think it's it's essential with my children coming up for me to have my message kind of like, yeah. you know, resonate uh, not with just uh, my kids, but like with, with kids in general uh, uh, and the youth today. They're like kind of like you know backwards with their mind state, and they want to like allow for um, a lot of the negative you know connotations that are in the music in general yeah. uh, to like dictate how you know the ears. Listen, basically, yeah. you know, I could dig that. And, you know, to get more back into the music, I guess, uh, you know, you've locked in with producers before, but why hazardous for this project? Uh, this specific project, uh, hazardous, uh, and I, we are uh, linked up uh, in Florida mm-hmm. um, through a mutual acquaintance down there, and um, you know, we started, you know, doing a couple of records, you know, here and there, and, 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 and you know, the the chemistry was just natural, you know, it was very organic. And um, it, it just made perfect sense like yeah. for us to like you know allow it to continue to progress uh, the same way when when I did the project uh, previously not uh, one one off joint with mnemonics mm-hmm. uh, it made sense at the time because we were thinking kind of on the same mind frame in terms of the revolutionary project mm-hmm. uh, and this is no different has it is um, I think what he did is he challenged me as an artist to like you know kind of like go away from like what I'm used to uh, rapping on what I'm used to like you know doing uh, uh, with my work like uh, I would do so many records with you know static selecting a lot of a lot of the um, fans out there they would uh, expect my music to sound specifically like what um, it, what it sounded like with a static selector a static selector is static selector mm-hmm. an amazing producer uh, and I take nothing from him uh, 
uh, Hazardous Sounds Hazardous Sounds is a phenomenal producer as well and I, I it, it was just a different backdrop for me but it was an important backdrop I felt for me not to be so pigeonholed and put in a box so mm -hmm. I, I just think it was uh, a, a dope project to, to go into. I linked up with Rex you know to me he's definitely one of the dopest MCs I've come across you know and I've yeah. I've worked with a lot of you know different rappers um, but um, yeah like he said it was mad organic you know we were just in the lab I would throw on a beat if he's feeling it, he just pick up the pen and start writing. Yeah. And, um, you know, we just knocked out joint after joint. Before you knew it, we were like, yo, I think we should put out a project sounding dope. So we ran with it, you know? Yeah. And now, Rex, I've interviewed you a bunch of times already. We've talked a bunch. And, like, I ask you this question every time because you're one of those, you're like a rapper's rapper. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, how did you select the features? How did y'all really select the features for this project? Did y'all come in with a clean slate and was like, all right, I want this person, this person, or do you have some joints already that you were working on together that you put? Like, how did you get Nori and then Saigon? How did you decide on them for Garvin? You know um, what I mean? For, for me in general, I don't usually have like it in my mind frame of like, okay, I hear a beat and I'm like, yo, I hear this person immediately mm -hmm. on a record. Um, we kind of like, you know where the where the message or the record was kind of going we would kind of like try to like go from there yeah. um you know the war report was the war report and like if people look back they they'll, they'll know uh nori for uh, you know what he what what he speak on with the with the cnn thing so it was an amazing and refreshing thing to have nori on that record yeah. specifically um and um also saigon saigon me and me and Sai was talking about doing a record forever mm -hmm. um you know uh, we just had to make sure it was the right one there's a lot of you know people out there who um who have stated in the past they were down to do a record with rex but like they just wanted the right record and um it was it was great that we just found that one and and, and Sai was rocking with it so like you know it, it was an automatic thing and um uh the other features like i said same thing you know it, it, it's we would do a record and if it made sense uh we bring an artist in like a dutch rebel or mm -hmm. you know knowledge medina someone who i work with closely down in florida um he just made sense for a couple of the records so he was on the record so yeah. that's how it worked for me um we also got fredro star and rusty jokes on unholy right same thing you know we just um thought they would fit the record and and they did you know um who else we got on it Ming from the Spooks. She's a dope singer out of uh, London, and um, she she did her thing on Lesser God. Term, of course, you yeah, know, Easy team. Money. You know, that's automatic almost. You know, since uh, they're like dopest MCs, two of the dopest MCs out of you know Massachusetts, in my yeah. opinion. You know, um, so it only made sense. But um, yeah, the, they were uh, the features are pretty dope, and everybody did their thing. Yeah. Now you both got. You know your personal things that y'all got coming up. What what can we expect, man? What's going well, on? Well, right now um, I'm working on the. Um, I'm still working with my brother Nori. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. We're doing the new CNN album that should be coming out. You know, either fourth quarter or early 2015. Whoa. Um, I got a you know a few joints. I'm engineering the whole thing. Uh, I got my project in the works right now. You know what I'm saying? It's a compilation album. Mm -hmm. uh, look out for that. You know, I got. Almost like I got mad people on that too. You now know, will it saying? be another one in the Hazmat series, or are you just starting? Yeah, that's gonna be okay. Hazmat three. Okay. Um, I haven't like, it's still you know I'm still working on it, but mm -hmm. I got a lot of you know from Cormega to Gunplay to um, you know Jada Kiss to Raekwon. You know, it's like I like just mixing, of course Rex. You know what I'm saying? A lot of everything in there, but um, that's coming out really dope. Look out for that. We just put out the Cormega. Large Pro album. I yep. engineered that whole album. Wow. So I'm just, you know, staying busy with the whole production, mixing. Um, I just did some joints with MOP as well. Wow. So, you wow. know, just staying busy, man. Uh, personally, uh, I think I'm going to go back to, like, you know, when I was doing the, the projects with uh, different producers. I'm going mm -hmm. to do something like that. Um, but, uh, you know, we we working on this uh, project, me and Term, um, uh -oh. uh, are focused on that. Um, you know, we'll do a full length. Um, it's, it's about time, and I'll go back to like the, you know, the more the the body bars. Like that sounds like that an, that's my an aggressive album. Dog. Yeah, it's gonna be super aggressive, Jeez. and anybody who's featured <laughs> on it better be ready. Uh, my my goal is to you know 
force force term to step his balls up. Yeah, oh. You know what I mean? It's a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and um before we get out of here, man, just real quick, words of wisdom from both of y'all, man. Um, yo, just whatever you gonna whatever you uh gonna do in this uh this life, do it like you wanna breathe or just don't do it. Yeah, basically what he said. Um, if you're gonna if you're gonna do something, stick with it. Never give up. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Do what you believe in. You know what I'm saying? If you believe it's you, go for it. You know what I'm saying? Knock it out the park, man. Eyes watching God on iTunes. Um, you can go to RexHipHop.com for um, anything merchandise related to Rex. Um, IG is Rex Flicks, R E K S F L I C K S. Um, and twitter.com forward slash the real Rex. Check me out on hazardoussounds.com. That sounds with a Z. Follow me on Instagram at hazardoussounds. Same thing, Twitter. That's it. Yo, were you a Heat fan or are you a Heat fan? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> never was, never will be. I'm a Knicks fan all day. Oh, all right, y'all cut this shit. <laughs> <laughs>It's your boy all to the E K to the S. You already know. Shout out to any hip hop for doing their thing forever and a day. Appreciate you always. Salute. It's your man has it sounds. One time for my people. Any hip hop. You already know. Keep doing what you do. Salute.